Hello, hello, hello. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Streamlabs was being a pain today. I've never had it sign me out like that and keep doing it. Looks like all my settings in order. I'm hoping that's the case, but if I sound like a monster or the video quality looks atrocious, we will get that figured out. Wanted to be live streaming probably an hour ago now, uh, but that was quite the hiccup. And um, now it's thunder outside, so hopefully we don't lose power where I'm at. That would be lame. But I won't let a little thunder stop me from enjoying some Xenoblade with you all. So, I think we're good to go as long as my TV doesn't mess up like it did yesterday. We're fine and dandy. <clears throat> Let's make sure before we get too excited. Because my room is just full of technical difficulties lately. Ooh. Is it heard? We hear the menu. We hear it. I think we're good. Alright, now for the final test. As long as this works out nicely, we're gaming. We're gaming. Heck yeah. So excited to get into it. <sighs> it feels great to be back yet again. Mm. Let's dive right in. Thunder is quite noticeable. Goodness. Ooh, quest. Alright, okay. Last night we found Mecha Friends parts. Oh, Mecha Friends back at it. Somewhere around here. Mecha Friend, where have you gone? There's Mecha Friend. We actually did a lot of questing here. See me me flute playing is really coming along now. I'm not sure good is the word, but at last but at the last off scene, he made the moots rise like he was supposed to. Folks around here have started calling him see me off. Wow. So the commander and those not pound are teaming up to build a larger scale levels. It's good for you it though. Give them some space to focus on his work again. I know it's a lot to ask, but could you look out for the commander? Or but look out for the commander, won't you? Yeah, we do. Look out for that guy, he's cool. keeping up with the flute practice. Mm -hmm. See me, me can play melody that Noah teach almost properly now. Now, see me, me will take on burden of obsidian from Rada. Mm -hmm. Problem is, see me, me become all too sad when obsidian friends from Colony Thirty. Which, however, which which attempt to make amends, Mecha friend, or 
coat. However, would would attempt to make amends to Mecha Friend. No reply from Mecha Friend. Considering gravity of what would would do to Mecha Friend, not so surprising that forgiveness not forthcome. Get Valdi to interpret. I'll bet you anything that bucket of bolts isn't even mad at you. He walks around so freely. Where did Mecha Friend go? Mecha Friend, how are you? How, how are you feeling? Okay. No fried circuits or loose bolts? All silence. Yeah, I get it. Thought so. Well, don't worry. Next time maintenance is due, I'll make sure that it's me that handles it. Yeah. Yeah. Angry robot. Giant leptness, so great and powerful. Oh my, it's moving. Dinky dinky, much glad I've stayed in Colony 30. Days are full of fun and joy. Well, we got another quest here. Rapapa. Meh meh. Map on here all champing a bit waiting. Or yeah, champing a bit waiting to build lemons. Though we're currently proceeding on track for phase four. Friends bring materials? Then Rapapa give them speedy quick check. Is this what you wanted? That was the good one. Mm -hmm. Woo! That was a really good one. Material all gathered. Phase 4 now complete. For completable. Much thanks. Phase 5 need a hefty chunk of manpower. Appreciating hard labor of friends in advance. Preparation prepared, Rapapa take quick break from inspecting. Oh, okay. So there's gonna be something that we need to do to make the quest happen. So there's been a container here for Lord knows how long. Oh. Uh, let's check the low. That's what it is. There's one down here in the water. We're on a platform. Not the water. Nice. They really are hammering away up there. I sure hope we get to fly around and do it. Or something cool. district once we get up here. Oh look, info. The real perpetrator. He sounds pretty serious. Cave was found during an expedition to down the Dog Desert. Oh yeah, the Sadiqs. Well, it's clearly not a natural formation. I venture to say it was made by Napan wings. But when I asked those caravan Napan, they didn't know a thing about it. If you ladder passing by, maybe you'd like to poke your head at it. Quite sure we did. 
pet. So Widgewidge was worried he was going to be replaced, huh? Naturally, the commander let those not find off the hook without a second thought. You're just too soft sometimes. I'm already dreading what crazy idea he'll get in his head next. Really? Hey, <laughs> I haven't seen you since Colony I.O., eh? Philly? You really came to Colony 30. Sure it did, and things are going pretty swimmingly. Got a present today from the lovely Zozo the other day, too. I mean, I know we have some history with Colony 30, but actually, it's way cooler here than I'd imagined. I'm glad I came here, and that I got to know you. You just gave me the push I needed back then. Very nice. Alright, we need to hit this rest spot. We can probably eat two while we're at it if Let's I like the buff up. from here. Emmy drop boost. Eh. Let's discuss. Oh my. There's a lot of discussion actually. I didn't realize that. Well, that'll take. Oh, that takes a cut. Oh, there's a lot of requirements there. Okay. Ever hey, like plane? So, can we talk? Noah, was it your colony that fought Colony Sigma and never bite plane? Yeah, it was. You heard about the battle. Never bite plane. Now that. A name that keeps coming up. Seems to be the battlefield of choice for a lot of colonies. I imagine it's because of the open wasteland. It's perfect for large melees that even Pharaonuses can clash in. No wonder it's so blasted dash. Uh, no wonder it's so blasted to ash that not even a single blade of grass can grow there. And until we put an end to the fighting, it'll most likely stay that way. True to its monkey, Monica. I hope one day the war will be over, and it can grow lush and verdant, just like Yanza Plains. Yeah. Hmm. Let's have a little huddle up. Did you hear the goss? These men and Lenny have been button heads. That's an unusual match. Eastman lashed out for some reason. For some idiot reason. Didn't like Lenny keeping secrets or something. Not one for patience, is he? What sort of secrets was Lenny keeping? I don't know if he'd talk to us, but it can't hurt to try if you're worried. Alright. together on this people in colony iron really aren't happy with the current food situation even now they're released from the flame clock this is all they whinge about and it'll take time for Xeon's fields to yield a harvest probably isn't just kite who's worried about the shortages if we let it go on as they are, one day things will explode. This probably occurred to you all, but... I mean, the fact that Fox is plotting something idiotic. Right. I think. I think he might be planning to raid some of the neighboring colonies. How could he? Fox. I don't suppose a good punch in the mouth would convince him. I hope we're in time to stop him. Is Kite involved? If he is, then the whole thing's even bigger and messier. He's always looking out for the rank and file, so they absolutely adore him. I see. Maybe Camilla knows something. She's the same term as Fox, and they have been buddy-buddy lately. 
Do you think she's mixed up in this as well? Well, we'll never know without hearing what she has to say. Let's have a little huddle up. Wasn't this Pooly Pooly guy involved in hiding those mecha friend parts? Got a bit of a bone to pick with him. He's the guy who goaded Witchwidge and Dinky Dinky into making trouble. But with a name like that, he's a knock on too, right? Back then, we couldn't really get a handle on what he was on about. That's for sure. Pooly Pooly came to Colony 30 a little before I first met you guys. I haven't talked to him much either, so it'd be nice to get to know him better. Let's have a word with him if we find him. Punch him in the mouth. All charged up and ready to go. Pooly pooly. Meh meh meh. Get you guys. Oh, don't you. Hey, get back here. Why did he run away? Something fishy going on. Definitely. Smells like guilt. Let's get after him. Why, I oughta. Oh, you gotta track him. Yeah, I totally would have left the colony, so kind of makes sense. because I went here before. Mm. Oh, there they are. Uh, how about here? Cabin. Where are you, you scallywag? Hey, what you scribbling there? Doing best and working hard for Alexandria. Please give many praises as rewards. <laughs> D -d Don't look at things without ask. That very rude character. Alexandria? The Alexandria, who's the commander of Colony Iota? That Alexandria? What exactly are you working so hard on her? So hard for her on? I recommend being as detailed as possible. From where I'm standing, it looks like you are doing intelligence work. Meh meh. There's nothing to do with Alexandria. Pully pully fruit agent. Only act for self. I feel like we shouldn't be addressing this alone. We should put this to Colony 30. 
then we should see you use it. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Show him. Beat that not pot up. Okay, let me see if I've got it right. This not pot was intending to pass Colony 30 intelligence to another colony. In addition, hoping to cause risk within the colony. The mastermind of this plan is still my friend's parts. Yeah, that's about it. Pulley, pulley, not let Colony 30 defeat Alexandria. So pulley, pulley, defeat Colony 30 instead and make Alexandria happy. That plan. So, what now, Commander Bully? Good question. I don't want my friends to be hurt. So, Pooly Pooly, can't we all just be friends and get along? Follow the bee. Pooly Pooly, sorry. Pooly Pooly feels so huge remorse. All is forgiven. Really? Uh, Valdi says he forgives him. Pooly Pooly have change of heart and work very hard now. Seriously? <laughs> okay. That's that's all it took. They've resolved together on finishing Dory. Are you kidding me? Okay. This game. That easy. Not on her so dang goofy. Thanks to friends, Dork now in phase five. Dinky Dink and Witch would start off on her own feet with Mecha Friend after past incident, but all chummy now. Dork currently proceeding on track for phase five. Friends bring materials, then Rapapa give them speedy quick check. Is this what you wanted? Dang, this one's kicking my butt. We'll make it happen though. Not even close to Realm of Enough. Settle down, mate. We'll get it. Got plenty of gathering to do. Alright, Baron Null. Where is that? Slight bit of area I've yet to touch. Let's make that happen. Uh. This way. I think this is actually the quest I'm tracking, so that's good. I'll grab these and then turn. Bloop, bloop. Too hot over there. Hey, look. Let's pitch in. Do it. 
What? You? Conversation can wait. We'll take it from here. Don't look at me with your dumb Arrange unicorn or looking. We did it. How is everyone? No injuries? Why did you help us? Do we need a reason? Well, Agnes helping out Kevs is it's unheard of, isn't it? Your point. Do you not get it yet? We do not trust you. Mimi, it's him. Oh, you again. You just don't die, do you? We heard you were heading close with the commander. That doesn't mean anyone in Colony else, or anyone else in Colony Four trusts you. We're not trying to win your trust. You just needed help. What did you say? Carried out the obligations. I just don't want to turn my back on anyone who fights for others. That's why we stepped in. No more reason than that. So you act in accordance with your principles. That's it. Ha! <laughs> it's the best lie an Agnes lover like you can come up with. Sorry. We overstepped our bounds. We'll go. Ugh. Okay, fine. I approve of Ethel's judgment. Huh? I apologize for what I said before. I was just trying to test you. Come on, Maxie, what are you saying? The commander trusted you from the start. We have a duty to abide by our wishes. I heard about the thing with the medical supplies. That was all you. Anyway, we may as well introduce ourselves now. I'm Maxi, tactician squad leader. Good land, Maxi. Uh, so, what kind of tests were you talking about earlier? We wanted to use this opportunity to make sure of something. Whether we could entrust our mission to. Well. Uh, what? Captain, you mean your strategy was aimed at them? I was pretty sure you'd pass. Wait, are you serious right now? Them? Jeremy, I'm not saying this makes up for the past, but we can't forget that we're fighting for the living. <laughs> we're in a critical situation. We need to break out of it while we can. We've got just the plan to do it. I want your help to make it happen. Are you sure about this? I'll be frank. We don't have the firepower. We're busy shoring up colony defenses, so taking out some enemies will help us. More than that, 
I thought that proving your sincerity to everybody would be expiring. Inspiring. I see. There's some days yet before the operation begins, so just think it over. Right. Very interesting. Oh, so that's how they're doing. What the deuce? Dumb bird. Yep, that's all this is. No way into that other area. Looks interesting. I want it. Get it ever so slightly getting filled out on the map. Oh. Okay. So back to the colony. Actually, I wonder if something took over. Not yet. Out back. Wrong. Maybe it wasn't. Guess I just gotta go all around. Cause I'm messing it up. I am unmuted, right? Yeah, we're good. Sometimes I forget whether I'm speaking and y'all can hear me or not. Ugh. Is this? Is it even lower? 
It is. So what about the Nappan who went missing? Oh, you know about Bam Bam? Ugh, that fuzzy headed idiot hasn't been back. That doesn't sound good. That fluff ball knows how busy we are with the Levinus inspections and still decided to go wandering off. And you have no idea why. Maybe Doran would know, but who knows where he is? Who's Doran? One of Bam Bam's friends. Nothing but trouble, that brat. You get the picture? If you find Doran, then pass the message on for me. Stop slacking off work and bring your Bam Bam back with you, or you'll get a clip around the ear. Oh, so that's how they're doing. He ain't playing around, he's serious. Doesn't matter what Maxi says, you act mean scum is still the enemy as far as I'm concerned. Don't be getting any funny ideas while you're here, okay? Or else. Maybe. Should we move along here, maybe? Yes. Alright. Where are the flame clock getting smashed to spread to the other colonies now, I'm sure? All your enemies will be tightening security too, thanks that little stunt. You only got yourselves to blame here. Hey, lay off us already! After everything we've done for you! Uni, don't let him rile you up. That's exactly what he wants. Hey, by the way, have you met Yord from the Tactician Squad yet? Yord and I are kind of a unit. Sure, she's a little uptight sometimes, but I really depend on her for a lot. Anyway, if you see her, you should say hi. It'll be good for us all to get to know each other, right? Oh, so that's how they're doing. Are you doing? Hello? Oh yeah, that's me. Need something. Denzel has a message for you. Alright, the one around about the clip around the ear. No need to pay that any mind. He's always that way. Is Bam Bam not with you? Don't tell me Bam Bam's gone AWOL again. What do you mean again? It's something of a regular occurrence. He's quick to bunk off. Well, not like I can talk. <laughs> He's so open about it though. I'm always telling him to be smarter about it. Perhaps we've found the reason why your boss is always so angry. You're odd ducks, aren't you? All this worry about a not pond you've never met. Yeah, but no one. Uh -huh. Sorry, yawn. Yeah, but don't you want to make sure he ain't in trouble or anything? Little fella might have fallen off a cliff. Think about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. I am. I am a senior. I guess I should be looking out for him. Do you know where Bam Bam might go to hide from work? Do you even guess? My guess would be they're in Nadia. Nadia. It's one of his favorite napping spots. Look, if you're going, I'll come too. Can't have you inconveniencing yourselves alone on his behalf. I'm starved. Let's grab something. Wow, what the heck? Burn controller. 
or rip me all the way away from what I needed. That's a lot of area. Napan really dipped out. Bam bam. He's surrounded. Oh no, 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 no. What do we do? What do we do? This is how Colony 4 raises its soldiers. Uh, come on, team. Let's solve everyone's problems. Save Bam Bam. Always oh, time for a little rescue. Y'all about to get spanked. I can't believe these enemies can still dodge us when they're at such a huge disadvantage. That was spectacular. Thanking is you. Thanking you. Thank to you. I've been living to ski another day. No need for thanks. Let's just get back to the colony as quick as we can, okay? Yeah, come on, Bam Bam. If you drag your feet, you're gonna get a whack from Denzel. Oh, what Bam Bam care? Bam Bam, do what Bam Bam want. And right now, Bam Bam famish. Bam Bam strive to die before it reach colony, if not eat soon. Huh? Yeah, I haven't eaten since this morning either. Shall we have a bit of a rest now? We flattened those monsters good, so we should have a little bit of breathing space. If time is empty, then banana, your gal. Banana cooked beautiful meal. It's true? That make Bam Bam very pleased. I feel kind of bad for putting you out like this. Banana, very obligated if friends bring Arduin ribs for use as ingredients. Okay, we'll be back soon. Was it obligated or obliged? I think it was obliged, I can't read. This was a nice find! This isn't worth our time! Stay alert and alive! <laughs> When's the battle happening? This isn't worth our time! Let's end this quickly! You say it's not worth our time, but this is gonna be tasty food. Right this Be a new recipe for us. Something survived. I'd be happy for that. Looks like a pretty rare specimen. Don't just assume they're pushovers. Leave it to me. I'll have them crying by the end. If 
only you didn't charge off on your own. <laughs> Plenty of items. Ooh, my neck just made a scary sound. I'm sure I'll be fine though. Probably. So friends make habit of stuff like this. What do you mean? Traveling ever you really for campings? Well, not all the time, but yeah, pretty much. Sounds so cool. That man can get used to such degrees of freedom. And since when are you not free? Avoiding work, taking lazy afternoon naps. Door joy right in loveness, so cast out two by four on own eyes before searching for puzzlewood tree and I a bam bam. Hey, hey, I don't care. Anyway, that's just the colonies. Uh, anyway, that colony is just too stiff, man. Bam bam agree. Want to travel more in outside world? Yeah. Traveling would be sweet. Is the two of us camping like this? Dinner is ready. Eat well, hot. Yes, dinner time. It's delicious by smell alone. Let's eat. Have a little rest and then get back to the colony. Okay, we've been here a while now. Wait, where do those two blockheads go? Um, they were... Uh, there, before we went to sleep. Oh, those seal calls no end of trouble. Oh, got a call from Doran. Good morning. Thanks for saving Bam Bam yesterday. Yeah, but where are you? Sorry, but we did a bit of thinking and now Bam Bam and me are back in Colony 4. Well, at least you're okay. Why did you leave so suddenly though? Oh, so there's something we have to explain. But we're in a bit of a pickle right now. Sorry to make you run around like this. But could you come back to Colony 4? We'll be waiting for you wherever. He hung up on you. I don't even want to know what these dang bats are on about now. I guess now we go back to Colony 4. Sheesh, these guys. These guys are a mess. Crispy fillet. Here we go. Bam Bam is free. What? Hey, get back here. Does hell what? 
Those delinquent lugheads. Just when I thought they'd come crawling back, they jump in 11s and fly off. What? Now they're both gone? I'm lost. Somebody take me home. What now? Are you going to hold them back? Those pampered ungrateful brats. Ha! <laughs> They're so set on dying in the wilderness, they have my blessing. wilderness or anything, but it's hard not to be concerned. It's not safe out there. Let's see if we can convince them to come back. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Hey, there you are. We wait for you. Are you joking? You just zoomed right past us. We're free now. Clear the dust out of here and listen. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Me and Bam Bam talked it through. After we heard how you lot live, we decided the colony living just wasn't for us. He right, that stubborn head place, only oppressed Bam Bam and Doran. We want travel, same as you. We look for a way of life which not tie us down. We free our bonded man. Queen's Earth. Okay, that's enough of that kind of talk. I think it's best if you go back to Colony 4 now, yeah? Right. Let's we'll smooth things over with Denzel. Nah, we've already decided. We're free now. Yeah, you said that already. Weren't you supposed to be looking out for Fuzzy here? Bam Bam and doing best friends is one. When one died, both dies. Let's not get carried away. Really? But we can definitely do anything. And we'll be fine, totally. For real. Uh. Okay, well, if we can't convince you, then will you at least promise to be careful? Bam Bam, proud leftness owner. Bam Bam, invincible in this baby. See you again, wherever the wind takes us. These idiots. Dropping by really quickly to say hi and wish you a good stream, eh? Oh, so to be stuck on another ch Oh, yeah, whatever, buddy. I don't need another one of your curses tonight. Yeah, I'm worried about them. You still at work, buddy? Hey, you're at work. I hope work treats you goodly. We never had a hope of persuading them to come back. Better to let them do as they please. I guarantee we're gonna run into them again. When that happens, we can just try again, innit? You're probably right. Oh boy. Now uh, that is interesting. Come on, Bam Bam, go take a look. Bam Bam, too scared. Hey, you're the one who's most annoyed by that noise. 
A door and notice racket first. Hi, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, nice, it's you. Good timing, mate. Been this terrifying noise going on for a while now. It's very petrifying. So now we're trying to decide whether we should go look and see what's making it. You make all your decisions for fighting. Work's going all right so far. Can't complain much. Just ready to go home so you can play more. <laughs> Heck yeah. I feel that. The problem is, what if it's something awful? That would be awful. Certainly very awful. Oh, Bam Bam and Doran continue peacefully in such state. Taj is with it all. Is this as free as we're ever gonna be? Bam Bam not satisfied with that. Journey of Bam Bam only just beginning. A cat with these two. Hey, since it's so important to you, what if we go look with you? Would you? You do that for Bam Bam. If all you want is to know what's making that noise, that'll hardly take that long. You're the lifesavers. We totally owe you for this. You clearly owed Wing traveling. Well, I'm not gonna get much done sitting around here. Let's head towards the source of the noise. Fear of the unknown. The great sword's coming to view. It's still a long way away. Something so valuable here. a supply container. It looked like they dropped break it. That sound of error. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of. Can we just stop this racket? Uh, hey, wait a sec. What if you just twiddle this here? So we pretty much can't get it out of what's inside the container now. Let Bam Bam see. They're not so broken. All it needs is some elbow grease. Uh, if only we had the parts, we could manage something. If only... Why, yes, we'd love to get these parts for you. Thank you for asking so nicely. Oh, you're so generous. Such man magnosity, magnanimosity. The part you want is the serene jet. You should be able to fly them around by breaking the old... Ugh. You should be able to fly them easily around the old kind of battlefield. Probably. I've got them. We've got the parts you need, but is it really enough to fix it? Yeah, that's just the ticket. Let me show you how the maintenance and development thing gets it done. Oh no, monster attracted by sound. Once again, prolonged exposure to idiocy inconveniences us. These two should come with a warning. Oh, don't say that. They're not bad people. We'll take the monster. You get the container. Where are they going? Yay! Help! 
Bam Bam not want to die. Bam Bam not want to die. Oh, come on. Let's just get this monster whacked. That's goodbye, Mr. Luck. Open it will, folks. Nothing impossible for Bam Bam and friend. Prodigal researchers. Huh? <laughs> I've never been so stopped in my tracks by a <laughs> red line. What? Pardon me? <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what am I looking at here? I, what is, what is that? How does that link that sentence? What is, what is happening here? Nothing impossible for Bam Bam and friend. Prodigal researchers come developers. And sometimes mechanics. What? <laughs> come developer? Is that... I don't understand. Where did you get back? Alrighty. Order what's gonna be inside. I hope it's food. I'm hoping for a tasty sausage. Ooh. Quite a few items. Oh my, oh my, oh my. The sparks of this. And not tasty sausage. They're combat supplies. Huh. So this actually turned out to be useful. <laughs> we don't need it. How do you know? May as well take it. It's not like we're gonna be fighting. The one right. Not evil, not valuable. Yeah, we'll generously gift it to you. Thanks for the help. I'm not gonna say no of your offering. Cheers. Good. If you can use it, then consider it a little token of our appreciation. Bam bam in agreement. Very pleased that it's useful to friends. Well, Bam Bam, I think it's time we head off to our next adventure. Let rip, friend. Weren't they bickering at each other before? Guess they're pretty easy going. They are dang goofy. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Whoa, got a rare dude, all right. Got a rare dude, all right. Yeah. Those ones 
is going to stay in progress for a while. Where's Lenny from? Even I need men. Pretty sure it's a tier region. Yeah, that sounds like what I'm used to. Fusion's just cool because it lets you get several effects at once. Those are the Levnesses, your colony pilots, Noah. Huh. Ends up playing monsters. I love the detail. Like he's just so excited to be around Lemnuses that he's like Those standing the there. Your colony pilots, Noah. Will he even group back up at all? He's so invested. Hey, he did decide to come over. So, we heard you had a run in with Eastman. That news reached even you lot, did it? So, you come to visit me because you're worried? No, no need. Wasn't anything big. I was asking. Eilis? 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 Eilis for a favor? Eastman happened to show up looking for me, and when I snubbed him, he got a bit ticked off, so to speak. Asking Ellis a favor, huh? Oh, uh, just something to do with Colony Line's future. Can we ask what it is? Yeah, I can definitely share it with you. I was thinking about my dead team, and... I remembered that Marlin said something about finding gear that didn't come from Agnes or Kev's. You might be able to use it for Colony 9, right? Unknown military, unknown military equipment might hold useful secrets. I thought Ellis would be able to go looking for it in Alumnus, so I asked. Sounds mysterious. Interest peaked? Not peaked? Peaked? If that's the case, you can meet up with Ellis. I'm gonna send you the coordinates up to your iris. Appreciate it. Oh, so that's how they're doing. It's a great idea, honestly. Make use of Bandam stuff, right? Or is there even more secrety stuff that's hanging around? That would be super cool. Fox? Uh, no, uh, sorry about that. I was miles away. I was just a little worried about Fox. I haven't seen him today. Actually, if you have time. Could you find Fox at the canteen and tell him I want to see him? Sorry to take up your time. Let me know if there's anything you need. This is all quite basic. Stop. 
Let's grab something. There haven't been any new recruits since we broke off relations with the castle. We're just the youngest in Colony Night these days. That would be Earl. He was the last one to join us. Of course. He doesn't have Noah's fighting ability, so defending him was a really frantic affair. No more fresh blood after Earl. I suppose we've just got to make do with our numbers we have. Except by the camp. Hey, Kate, no fox today. What? You're not joining at the hip like you lot. Oh, yeah. Alright, pack it in. Then come for a scrap. Oh, for quit sake. So, have you got business with Fox? Just heard something a little troubling, that's all. to gather a hunting party. Hunting. Do you know where he was going? I don't know the details. Oh, but he probably went to check the Milner's shoulder route. Wait, but across Milner's shoulder from here, that's... This just won't end well. If we take his destination as the colony nearest the Milner's shoulder, He's almost certainly heading to Colony Gamma. What? We have to go after him. What? What are you talking about? Oh, so that's how they're doing. <gasps> yeah, that's not good. secret. Not that I need to teleport, but I will. Cause I'm a weirdo. Those are the Levnesses, your colony pilots, Noah. Haven't beat up that rabbit yet? That's a do that. one. The only way is through, together. I'm so ready. Right, Kyle? Uh, uh. On we go. surprise me like that. Have you been talking to Lenny? Got it in one. So, this is the thing. Yep. You can tell it's different from Agnes's gear, right? And it's not Kavessi either. Interesting. This equipment. It looks like Gernicus. So I guess. I was looking into it before you came. There's nothing usable in it, nor are there any clues as to who it belongs to. I see. At any rate, it's so mysterious I don't want to let it go, so I am reporting it to Rob. Good plan. We can't just leave this stuff either. Should we bury it again? Hmm. Wait a minute. Isn't this... Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh my! <laughs> you 
can't just hit me with a mysterious key card like that. We should report this to Lenny. Oh my. Don't mind if I do. What might it open? Key card once carried by a soldier. What might it open? Oh, that's exciting. There's gonna be like a lot of secrets in this game, I think. Magnus or Kevs. I knew it. That's as far as we got. All we found was this card. Huh. I was hoping we could learn something that would improve Kylani and I. Oh wow. It's for the card. You found it, so you can keep it. You show sure about this? Yeah. Thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Guess I should go and straighten things out with Eastman. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Onwards to Colony Gamma. Fox, it's you. What are you doing here? What do you think? Getting ready for a hunting trip. You came all the way out here to hunt. Better query out here than around Colony 9. Your query is Colony Gamma, isn't it? This is the size of your gang. They'll run rings around you. Just give up and go back to Colony 9. They won't get the drop on me. Yeah. 
So good to chain those arts all the time. Uh -oh. Why? Where are you going to attack another colony? The shortage has been causing troubles back at the colony, right? And who is bearing the brunt of that unrest? The guys at the commissionary. I understand being worried about the future. Camilla's lot shouldn't be the ones to deal with all that crap. So, you were trying to protect her. We'll be working with you to improve the situation too. Talk is cheap. But... I'll be waiting to see what happens. <laughs> what a fact. There he is. Hey, Pox. Well, look who's coming to see you. Let's go back, shall we? Yeah. Woohoo! Starting to look quite caught up. The recommended level for chapter 20 or chapter 4 is 27. Is that it? Why am I level 50 then and still worried about it? Hard mode's insane, guys. I think we'll just get on with it. We'll be going in for the story next, but I'm going to grab a drink for this.
Sorry, everyone. Goodness, goodness. I got caught up in all sorts of conversations. Dog was scared of lightning going outside. And then she started to fight me when she got less scared. Uh, busy. Here we go. Luckily, somebody is taking the aggro from me. Didn't even go remotely well. Leave the enemies to me. I'm fine with I'll keep us safe from harm. I'll heal you right up. Where better to monitor the battle than on heat? I'll keep you safe and snug. Powerful. Which I could read up on his order. For chain attacks. Would help kind of knowing what I'm going to be getting into with the chain attacks. But he might have a way better order than most. For all I know. They just add 7 TP to everyone. And he does 10, so he's just better, like, entirely, right? Actually, no, his order has to do with healing. But as an added hero thing, he adds 10 TP. What is their order? I don't, I don't even remember the order order. Dodgy. That's what I'm talking about. Dang. 
our health is like up there too, but he's so dang powerful that he just one shots you. The tank loses him pretty much at the moment. be a rough one. Not an easy fight. Tell me, because I'm not really sure. I think it's going quite well. <clears throat> it's um, it was weird. It was like messed up, but not. How do I even explain whatever happened? I'll get my thoughts straightened out in a minute and just focus on this fight, honestly. But, um, so my settings were there, but every time I boot up OBS, or Streamlabs rather, not OBS, um, it makes me sign in again like I've never used it before. It's pretty annoying in that sense. It doesn't really make any sense for it to be doing that. It's never done that before and I'm not logging out. It's good to you. Yep, that's all that matters to me pretty much. First. Stay on guard for now. 
god. That one hit hard. But yes, thank you for the it looks good. I'm glad to hear it looks good. Oh my, I should not have done that much damage. That's very good I feel actually.
je... are awesome. <clears throat> and we got a Bravo. Magnificent. Reactivate. So much.
This is bad, Noah. I see, I see it. No, you don't. to do something about me first. You'll never win this otherwise. Ha! Huh? Oh, oh, you're 
you're sensing is the area around you. What's your point? Well, if I make some distance, looks like you can sense spark all! An illusion! Just so! What changed. And sure, I was scared. But even then, you'll find I'm no quitter. Are they dead? No. I shot one of my Mondo into their body. I sense it's still there. I'd say it's likely they got away. That right. <sighs> Yuli, have you ever met him before? As in before we became Ouroboros, I mean. No idea. But I think that... Something inside me remembers. That guy. And his claws. Maybe that has to do with Mobius, too. Why they exist here in our world. Well then, I've got to know, don't I? And then, I'll break free. And it won't have to feel like I'm suffocating. Uni. We can think more later. Right now, we should make ourselves scarce. You're right. We might have destroyed the Annihilator, but we haven't liberated the castle. There's been a change in colony relations. Uh, just guessing, but... That was an insane fight. Is that the hatch that leads to the channel? We'll go on my mark. Here we go! <sighs> Whoa! Check this place out! But now we're moving on, finally. This is our escape route, right? Uh. Yeah. Jump in this channel, and we'll pop out in the lake outside. Can't go on with this thing in the way. Maybe this channel not connect to Outside Castle? Weird. This wasn't on the map. So where are we at? Right now? Somewhere here in the mid-level? It's okay. If we go a bit further, we can get back in the channel. Might as well then. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. How dare I win? Wow. Wow. Do we get on this list? Spent all of yesterday preparing for that fight. I think so. It should take us to the channel's upper level. 
<sighs> he still almost got me a couple of times. it anyway though. Something so valuable here. On we go. That was not a good fight though. Oh he was mean. No place to take a breather. I've been craving some downtime. That's what I've been waiting to see. Now everybody will have their final accessory at the slot on that. Teach definitely needs this. Actually, it might be good to level up all of my heroes. Ooh, look at him go. I didn't expect that. I definitely feel stronger. You wish he was meaner. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Says the normal mode guy. If you were playing on hard mode, you'd absolutely not wish that at all. We have to keep track of our progress. Should I discuss these? I think I've got one, two discussion points. Everyone, a moment of your time? Could be worth. Back when we were in Colony 9, those bonnet sure made our lives pretty miserable. What? Why? They're such little cutie wooties. Cutie wooties? Even the ones holding giant weapons in their tails? Even those, I ask? Uh, yeah, okay, those are scary. We once had to push through whole be Babies of them. Babies? Love them to get back to Colony 9 from Yanza Plains. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that. Not gonna lie, I don't miss it. Am I remembering right? Cause... Am I remembering right that it started cause Fox tried starting a fight with their bunnet leader or something? Oh, like they came for revenge? But it's too turned towards collective behavior. Moreover, the ones holding weapons are known to be aggressive. When a hundred or more of the stuff has come at you at once, it ain't fun. And it's not like their meat is any good either. So, when fighting bonnets, keep an eye on their numbers. Noted. Good talk, guys. Don't have the time, sadly, so you'll never know, you say. Don't worry, there will be challenge mode eventually, and then you'll be all like, oh, this is insane. I wonder if insane mode is still going to be called bringer of chaos mode. Oh, I'm going to be sad. It's probably not going to be bringer of chaos mode. But it's such a perfect name for the hardest difficulty of the game. I think they'll keep it. They should keep it. <clears throat> I wonder what Maxi's plan is. Whatever it is, he should trust us now. Right? Something to celebrate. Yeah, it's good to know we haven't just been yelling into the void. We're useful. I said not everyone was happy. A jammy lad? He's probably been through a lot. And Maxie said it. Eh. And Maxie said it himself. Not everyone's ready to be bezies with us. In which case, is it wise to take him at his word? I think we should. Must even. He's worried about Colony 4, naturally. And if we can resolve the misunderstanding about us as Maxi said. Well said, Mimi. Act first, worry later, yeah? Yeah, there's no point in rehashing it. We just need to do what we believe is right. Woohoo! Let's get going. So, let me give them all their experience. I'm coming with you. This is 
probably something that's been peckish. overdue. Do have any snacks? Well, I guess I'm cleaning off now because I, for some reason, thought that was gonna help. But yeah, Validy. Mm. Where to from here? You need my help. At your service. Let's rest and heal up. Break time's over. This feels quite worthwhile. Riku get job done right. Riku get peckish. job done right. Do we have any snacks? Oh, they were about to go at it. I should have watched that. I'm sure Napalm brawls are worth money. The hard way. Is there a way to like Do come in here snacks? and swatch the heroes? I could have pressed level up all earlier to get the main party leveled up all at once too, but I didn't do that. Oh, there's no leveling down. Shucks. Uh, have you been back to Colony Lambda? Uh, look at you. <laughs> Trying yeah. to get me to do all their side quests, eh? I am sure there's some for me to do. Mr. Distraction Monkey. Alright, let's get going. Time's up. Leave it to me. That make you feel better. If I go enjoy Wasted. some distractions down there. Let's rest and heal up. Meh, meh, meh. One more hero to go. Let's move up. Leave things to me. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? Uh huh. I see you over there. Perhaps I'll play along since I'm right at a teleportal point anyway. <sighs> Look at him not on. Oh, she pointing at him. Rude. Oh, she's pointing at the metal wall, actually. Ooh, she almost got him. That was kind of wild. All right, let's get going. Time's a wasted. <sighs> All right, Mr. Uh, Weasel can't do the story. No. Let's see what's going on. Distractions aren't working anymore. I'm locked into the story. The channel keeps on going. We'll go on my mark. Here we go. <sighs> um. 
Are you sure we're on the right path? Doesn't this feel off? We followed the right route. According to Boliaris's data, we should be... Everything here looks so sumptuous and lavish! Wait. Hmm? It's the right path, but... We shouldn't be here. What do you mean? Why shouldn't we? <sighs> I should have known! Place. I saw an image of it in training. Oh, oh, shit, we gotta go! Noah, is this where I think it is? Yeah, the throne room. This is not just bad place. This worstest place, heart of enemy base. We haven't been noticed yet. Let's get out of here, now. Good idea. Another yeah. fragment, eh? I barely remember it. But yeah. You still have a chance to not spoilers. Take your chance. This is the place where we were born. Spark. This is creepy. Were we ever like that my skin's crawling please can we leave all those people do you think they're sleeping or maybe they're wait is that it is her what ethel huh that's crazy how can it be Ethel? Well, it sure looks like her. But this is definitely a first-termer. No, it really is Ethel. From when we first met her. Yeah, no mistake. W what do you mean, when you first met? What in the spark is this? This is what they taught us, right? That our lives are born from the Queen. You are as well. Huh? Same for you guys. We soldiers are born from the Queen. We fight. And then... To the Queen, you return. My beloved soldiers. <gasps> A consul! Ouroboros rabble. You dare to intrude on the presence of Her Majesty, Melia Antiqua. There's a golden consul? What is this guy? He's not like the other consuls we've met. Mio, be careful. <sighs> Mio! Uh, sorry. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Don't worry. I'm okay. Huh? I know him. But from where? What is the sensation? 
I have endeavored for countless years to protect and shelter Kevis under my aegis. And now you seek to bring ruin to this world. This grieves me. Come off it. How are we bringing ruin to anything? You seek to deny it. Think upon your actions. Have you or have you not destroyed colony flame clocks? We didn't have any choice. No choice. Indeed. I assume then you had no choice but to collude with our sworn enemy. That's why you've been trying to wipe us out. Both us and Ethel's Colony 4. Verily it is said, Urubaris abhor this world. You must be erased, lest this world be destroyed. We don't abhor anything. Do you realize how many battles we fought and won for Kebe? We've served you our whole lives, and now this bollocks! Your Majesty, please! You say you fight for Kevis. That you've served us. Are you certain? Rather, it seems, you have been fighting for yourselves and none other. <sighs> you cling to life in your desperation. That is why you have fought. Unchecked, Uruboros will lead this world to ruin. Now, by my authority, you shall perish. So, that's it. That's your verdict, then. It is not Her Majesty's verdict. It is the will of the world. It's what? Indeed, the security of this world is paramount. Therefore, Uruboros, the end is nigh. For you shall die by my hand. I, Melia and Tifa, shall face you in mortal combat. May the earth destroy you. on me, which was horrible. No way.
this is necessary. <laughs> we can save Melia. Crazy. Are we allowed to have it? Hey, yo. Is this huge? I think this is kind of flipping huge. Now we heal right on up. Yes, sir. A little more, just for the road. We love that point limit, and we love damage. Yes, sir. Oh, that goes crazy. That was kind of clapping. I couldn't keep them in check. I can't. Stay off of the attackers.
Majesty is a machine. Spark off. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Was that your doing, Queen? You haven't given up your false hope. Very well. By all means, look on. Witness how hollow your hope rings as I slice it all to ribbons. What? Again? Blast it! Why does he make my head hurt? Noah! What's wrong? We're not done yet! Take up your blade! What's going on? Are you okay? It is fate. Huh? Fate? Many have tried. But none have ever managed to escape its flow. Wait, that sword. How does he... Yeah, we've seen one before. Gotta be! Passage of fate. How easily it slips from my grasp. Yet, perhaps, it will come within reach once more. 
And if it does, what will you do then? Need you ask? I will give us equilibrium. A time unchanging. Our eternity. We have to keep track of our progress. Goodness. I guess I'm glad that wasn't Melia. But still. <sighs> Time bears down on us without mercy. How should we live the days that we have left? What should we spend them on? We saw one possible answer to those questions. But we cannot accept it. Not even as a last resort. After all, it was the only path that was offered to those two. We should all be free to choose our own way. That's our belief. That's why we fight. Whew. She was callous all along, though. Ah. Whatever the console was saying about the queen doing that and holding on to hope gives me <laughs> gives me hope that she's still doing something. Hard to say, though. <sighs> you gonna hit something or not? Huh? What use is swinging that slab if you ain't gonna swing it at one of the actual targets? But I'm just practicing. Say, why a hammer? Uh. This looks more your style. Totally. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Maybe we'll find out soon with these queens. Whoa. Whoa. Spark me silly. She beat five eight termers in a row. Mio, eh? She that offseer? Yeah, she should be the one heading to the front lines, not us. Nice one, Mimi. That was awesome. Poor eighth termers. You mopped the floor with them. Thank you, Senna. <laughs> Hang on. Where's Miyabi? Oh, Miyabi? The commander and consul wanted to see her in command. Oh, okay. Hey, fancy a bite? Mmm. Mmm, sure. I'm a bit peckish. It's a bit early, I suppose. No! I'm ready if you are. Huh? I was under the impression that you didn't like fish. Huh? Ah, uh, that is true. <laughs> but can't be too picky. My muscles need protein, you know? <laughs> um. 
Hey, Senna. There's no need for this. Huh? Just be yourself. You know you don't have to do what I do, right? N no, that's not... Senna. Uh, sorry. Come on. You say that too often. You've nothing to apologize for, Senna. Uh, okay. Eat what you enjoy. Never stop being you. Okay? Uh... I think that should be far enough. Did I do good out there? Hmm? What was that? Huh? What's that? <laughs> did, did I say something? Uh, I mean, you just said something about doing good or whatever. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Must have just slipped out. <laughs> You seem so... lonely. Huh? At training, in camp, at night. She's always got friends right by her. But why does it seem like... she's all alone? How come? So that's the way you see me, huh? A loner? Senna. I was hoping more plucky heroin girl or one track muscle head. That's more what I kind of shoot for. Now look. Oh, no, you don't. I think you're just being nosy. Senna, please. I'm fine. Really. Don't worry about me. You believe we've just had to run all that way? I don't know who they were, but had that force not intervened, I shudder to think what would have happened. What would have happened was it would have been curtains for us. Usually a strategy is something you're supposed to prepare beforehand. Noah. Guess we have no more use for castles and queens, huh? We're not going back, I know that much. Nope, we're going forward now. You're right. Sent as your spirit animal, oh my lord. Uh, I hope there's something more interesting involving the queens, though. Can't just take my freaking two favorite characters from their respective games and just say, oh, robot now. <coughs> it seems like there's more action on their end than just being robot stand ins. I think they're out there somewhere. I just, I do have to question their lifespan though, still. Not fun. 
Man, my throat. Not far now before we reach sword march. Let's go. I don't even know what to say to that, though. I, I, I'm, like, relieved. And disappointed that's not Melia. This is something decent, right? It's super sad that they're just getting all this shocking revelation regarding, you know, that name. This party, I mean. Melia and Tifa is just some robot thing that is up to no good pretty much. Seems like a bad first impression to me if the real Melia is still out there to give us the real impression of her. We've been spotted. Right, Melia Sentry. So she should have aged. He is all good to go. Where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm just trying to get away from the people. It definitely confirms that there's more to our real queens, if you will, which is awesome. I was honestly kind of thinking, you know, it might be them, and all this stuff that looks horrible to us was going to be like the only foreseeable way, but then maybe she'd have a change of heart when she sees us, remembering what it was like to travel with Schultz. Maybe give back to believing that things could change, just like she saw over and over again. But yes, I'm just going to be watching it play out with much excitement. I don't know why you're taking in all these spoilers. I mean, I know you were guessing along these lines, but still, like, you could just save yourself. Mimi, could you? That is a super boss if I've ever seen one. It actually is not. Be at rest. There's 
There's a fort up ahead and security's tight. We don't want to get too close. No reason to go back to the castle anyway. Let's head for Sword March. You know how we off series are, buddy. Final accessory slot. Finally. All right, where were you? You were on this. Take care of support. You were working. I'm fine with attacking. Nothing's getting past me. I'll take the offensive then. I'll keep you safe and snug. You're already working on the flash fencer. She needs everything. What else will he get? He's working on something again. So, you want me to go back to Colony Lambda? Eh? This quest. What are you hiding, little guy? I still don't even know that this is the halfway point of this game. It's insane. Your region. We'll be at the base of the Great Sword before too long. Finally! <sighs> Condensia region. Fine, I 
guess I'll beat him up for it. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Sink. Right, Tyler? Okay, let's get it open. At your service. Here we go. Platinum brooch. Strong foot wraps. Agnian and Cavesi forces are fighting. really real <laughs> I'm starting to get butterflies this will fetch a high price some downtime <sighs> okay next on the list is let me check it appears we can pass through here Something so valuable here. Matthew, where? What are you looking at? How about here? Ginormous Sparker. Whoa, where's the top? We finally made it, huh? Quite. <sighs> Let's get to the base of the sword. 
Guernica told us to come here. There has to be something. Be on your guard, yeah? Because we've really been pushing our luck lately. Whoa, that's one for the books. Shut up. Lance is right, though. Keep your eyes peeled. What's wrong? Mio? I hear... a strange sound. Sound? What? What is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Levnesses. They're the ones that attacked the castle. Yes, no question. Which means... We're gonna learn what they know, finally. Leftness from earlier disappearance guy? Yep. Oh, and before we take you to the city, you have to wear these. Ooh, fashion. Oh, just eye patches. Eye patches. They're the same ones we wear. Put them over the eye where your iris is. What? They won't hurt you.
thanks for the cooperation. We appreciate this. So, I said we aren't hostile, but that might not be enough to earn your trust, I'm guessing. If it lays your fears to rest, you can treat me as your prisoner until we reach the city. Huh? Yeah, that doesn't sound right, darling. You don't want a prisoner? Whatever, I'll be your escort then. I should point out, you won't find anyone better with a mace in the Lost Numbers. Yeah, well, don't bash us about with it or anything. If I wanted to, then your attitude would have already earned you a thrashing. So, let's be on our way. Shania will show you how to go. Can I ask you something? Just keep following Shania, will oh you? Lord, we'll talk more huge. later. What kind of place is this? How are we meant to get to the city from here? Um, yeah, this is a dead end. Wrong. Meh? A door? This leads into the Great Sword. The city is this way. Masterful disguise. Huh. And Ethel said there was nothing of interest in Sword March. Guess she never found this. Hey, you guys done? Can we get going? Better give it a good once over. What a brilliant contraption. No wonder nobody's ever found it. <laughs> You'd better save some of that surprise. the great sword all along save a bit of surprise i said what kind of place is this <sighs> so gernica that's that wrinkly guy, back then. Yeah. You said you were his daughter. What's that mean? I completely forgot. You don't understand the concept of parenthood. 
I'll explain later. Later meaning in the city? That's where the elevator's taking us. <sighs> You'll be needing those eye patches now. And what for? Those put a spanner in Mobius's recon. Mobius's? When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so, we're blocking that signal. With these things? What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? <sighs> we'll go with that. Sorry? You see, we're bound by Ouroboros blood. <laughs> We're so high up! What a view! I've never seen anything like it. Certainly takes your breath away. Can you save your observations for later? Come on! Right. I'm pretty sure I saw left theory Is that bunny digging up all? This was a nice find. Nothing on this dizzy oh, height. Okay. You're telling me just looking down makes me feel faint. Um, my head kind of hurts. Bruh. Okay, come on. Thanks. Lambda. Entrance is up ahead. Gotta get out of follow mode first, and then Lambda. Okay, I'll say what everyone's thinking. This is all sparking amazing! I should be reading this. The city's got some signal jamming tech that functions just like the eye patches detect blocking detection by Mobius. We're safe inside. You have my word. I suppose that must be the reason why they haven't been able to discover the cities thus far. You got that right. This place is our last route of redoubt and our sole haven in this world. As soon as we step outside, Mobius are all over us like bad wool sweater. So 
So what I'm saying is, don't forget your eye patches when you're out and about. That's all. I hear you loud and clear. Well, remember. Get us there already, Shania. He wants me to go to Lambda. just yet though why the spark not we don't even know if they're really our allies yet we can't get complacent still on guard huh unlike some of you daydreamers yes I'd like to believe them their eyes they look the same as his they said they opposed Mobius didn't they it should be okay then to trust them the enemy of our enemy is our friend Gotcha. Bloody sparks. Why do I bother? Thank you, Tyon, for looking out for us. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'll follow your lead. See? But please, oh my Lord. stay vigilant. Of course we will. New colony entries have been registered. Oh, my Lord. Ugh. Stop leading us. It's bigger than half a dozen colonies. Are there really so many people? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. Ugh. Ouroboros. Ouroboros, yeah. So they're Ouroboros? And they're from Kevis and Agnes. But they're just a bunch of kids. Watch yourselves. There could be secret spies. It's over. This place will be a war zone. Hmm. They're all whispering about us. I feel we're not exactly welcome here. Uninvited guests, one might say. They're the ones who led us here. Oh, hey. Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prune faces abound here. Wow. Mananas by tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be humans just like us. So you're Ouroboros, eh? Huh? You've got what? One or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Damme wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? <sighs> What's your problem? Mind your manners. Let me introduce you. These were our Ouroboros candidates. They trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Candidates? You happy? That you stole Ouroboros from us. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Whatever the reason, the old man did choose him. To be fair, they have gone against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, all right. You heard Shania's reports. What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> Together, we are united in our cause. Miss Vangdon. Uh, all right then. <sighs> Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash.
Huh? We've made some new friends. Oh my goodness. I'll introduce you to them another time. Alright. You, um... You said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why... Why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I'd been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Ah. Uh. I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raven lunatics. It kind of looked that way. That's a little too harsh. <laughs> Sorry. Poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. Oh my lord, it's still following We've made some new friends. Now I know how you guys felt in Colony 4. Right? At least they warmed up to us eventually. Maybe it'll be the same here. So, that girl was keeping an eye on us. Did you notice, Mimi? No. She didn't so much as make my ears twitch. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Oh, sharp turn. Did I just say Praetorian Hill? We're now more or less above the Swords Hilt Guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? There's even more. More husks underneath. <sighs> This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? Oh, so that's how they're doing. Hey, Noah, you know that pile of husks earlier? You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? I shouldn't have ran that fast. That's kind of lame that that cut off. Aren't those... Cradles. Your so-called cradles... ...are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth. Trained to kill one another ruthlessly, and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. <sighs> In order for Mobius to exist, they must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Ethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius's shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle. A blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Wait, then that husk I saw. But if we keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. 
You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh, right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. Mick back. Welcome back, Mick. They're oh, so just they divulging all the information now. So we're born to fight. And then we die. Over and over and over. I can hardly believe it. But it was Ethel, without a doubt. said something about bedtime earlier. My bad. Oh. <sighs> Where are we? This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Doctor, may I? So teensy tiny, but it move. Much rejoicing! Uh, it's okay to touch her. Uh, uh, gently now. Incredible! 
let me have a turn. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is so precious. This is incredible, Senna. <laughs> Funny, right? But this is human beings true nature if you want the ins and outs go and ask the doctor all right then lads and lasses who wants to know how babies are made <laughs> ain't no way mm. what the heck well you're in for a surprise buckle up All of their hearts are soaring right now. human nature we are born defenseless grow up then those who find a spouse create new life together age then return to the earth Thank you. I mean it. Monica. What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Ro... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. You'll understand too someday. This is such an amazing city.
Hmm. It looks the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. Uh, the founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Name them. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... Well, don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the Queen's, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving, it took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the Queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. The real Queens. Yes. Yes, real Queens. I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. <laughs> yeah. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Uh, yes. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Hey, well, chill out. Well, the legend goes that both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. Mm -hmm. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old, they're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us, too. Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Ouroboros. You kids and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Oh. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, Maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. 
For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so... precious. Shania. More walking to do. This is the last stretch. Let's get you to the dorms. <laughs> oh, great. The Kevs and Agnes warning levels have combined into a single Mobius warning level. There's been a change in colony relations. What's that look like? Level 3 warning? So what? I, I hardly remember what the warning does. Man, I think I need some time to process all this. Is there a chance Mobius will actually just attack yeah. us in the open? Quite a weight to carry. That would be an awesome mechanic if that's what go. that meant. Oh man, I love this game. It's been amazing. I'm so glad I get to stream it for you all. This is the dorm for young Lost Numbers soldiers. You can sleep here while you're in the city. You can ask that guy about your rooms. Oh, and sadly, there's no kitchen in the building. A lot of the single soldiers eat them. Match of a kitchen or canteen. But if you want to do your own cooking, feel free to use that empty plot of land over there. Got it. Thank you, Monica. Tomorrow we have a lot to discuss. Agreed. How shall we arrange that? Meet me in the Lost Numbers War Room. It's a place down the lift from near the Praetorian Hill, which we passed on the way here. I'll let you know closer to the time. Oh, before I forget. You're free to explore the city as you will. Is that really okay? I said we weren't hostile, right? I thought you'd be pleased not to have me breathing down your necks. No, we're grateful. Thanks for everything. Gosh, you guys, I love this game so darn much. Oh, it's a huge city. There's so many people to talk to. Monaco's little crew of running dogs, huh? Well, you can leave me right out of it, whatever it is. That's not us. What? You ain't lost numbers. Well, that's all right then. Not everyone in the not everyone in the city supports the lost numbers crew, you know. Some of us want nothing more than a quiet, peaceful life. That's what I want anyway. To be left in peace. We've made some new friends. So many points of interest somewhere around this area. What's up? Am I a rest site to you? City's got three types of folk. Promising youngsters, hardworking adults, and old folks with time on their hands. Time on your hands? Like you don't have anything you need to do? We paint, write poetry, play an instrument, or even in my case, have a good old drink every day. We've made some new friends. so in shock right now guys like this is 
really crazy what they're doing here. Look at this city. Is it difficult to become an Ouroboros candidate? Oh yeah. To qualify you have to pass the exam. And that's held just every four years. Once every four years. Only ten can get in. Four of which are reserves. There are a lot of applicants, but only the very best make it. We made some new friends. Wellwell is general store, passed down through many generations of traders. Ancestors of Wellwell travel full whirling caravan, but one day to stop caravan. One day decide to stop caravan and settle here. After that shop deal in many many goods, artistic things, not on craft, but printed matters. Important service to city friends. We've made some new friends. Yet I don't see any way to buy. What about here? I Much hello. I should try and be thrifty. These two coming again. Is that shining over there? City clothing. Sounds All like right. a scoop. What should we get? Cool. Crit rate. These are good. We're getting there. Probably not the best of the best, but definitely better than what I have so far, I think. Let's get that for the tanks. Two will do, I guess. Actually, if that's the case, I can I sell I should try and be the other ones. It's kind of hard to sell stuff. I might want to sort by like tank and healer and stuff. later. Oh, what on earth is this? How strange. Sheet music. That should be enough data. Alright. 
Wow. Smashed up the castles of Nyla, yeah. We use the chaos you kindly created to kick Kevs in the proverbial by writing the pods. Your voice, you're like a star of hope rising above this city. You set an awfully high standard for yourself. We've made some new friends. Let's just sneak a peek. City. I love it. Oh, I see. Feels like it's soft up a bit. Oh, look at that. Graze from here. Hmm? What's that? Eh? Bro, it's a ladder. Oh, looks like we can go on from here. Well, the count's a long one. That's cool, that person was saying looks like Gray's back in town. They were even saying he looks like he's softened up a bit. Hanging out with us whippersnappers. Our party. That's cool. So he's always been in the know of all this Oeboris business and Mobius and so on and so forth. Go figure. He could have been a little more talkative, he could have said something. I would have done well. Hmm. Ooh, that was close. I almost fell. <sighs> oh, I was going to catch it, so I didn't take the damage, but it's fine. What are you hiding, little guy? Good stuff. Secret pathway. Ah, oh, I'm so enjoying this. shadow by going backwards and side questing a bit so got plenty of waypoints in here we need quite a few places now that one will do let me go right here so I can fill out that middle spot it's gonna freak me out if I don't go clear that Look at that, it's a whole landmark with experience attached to it. Mm. Looking good. Me thinks. Ooh, the canteen. Ooh, we should eat there. I've been craving some downtime. 
have any matters to discuss? Oh, we got plenty to discuss. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna go to the restroom and then discuss this.
I see you going to sleep, Mick. I get you that good or ass. I'm gonna have these discussions in game. Heck yeah. You get your good rest up, buddy. Hey, so can we talk? So those clothes we uh, borrowed all that time ago, I guess they were city made in the first place. Ah, thinking about it, does that mean we might see people with the same outfits walking around? Oh, wait, you don't think. My style, it's not weird or anything, right? Hmm. I wonder. We did get dressed in a hurry then. It wasn't time to think about our style too carefully. Judging from the city people's perspective, it's not impossible that something about the ensemble might appear extremely offensive. Oh no, this is what I was afraid of. You look fine, Noah. Don't let Tyon's mutterings get you down. I say, what about Tyon's clothes then? I need my attire to be functional. That's it. It's entirely pointless to worry solely about its its, its appearance. Wow, that's a pretty sensible, actually. A very Tyon approach. While we're on the subject, Tyon, there's something I've wanted to say for a while now. What is it? Your scarf is deeply uncool. What did you just say? Repeat yourself, I dare you. <laughs> I knew it. You're as vain as the rest of us, you poser. Eh? <laughs> Everyone, a moment of your time? Nighty night, Mitt. Oh, we're enjoying. We enjoy every moment of Xenoblade ever. Don't you worry. Thank you. Have a great sleep, Mick. Uh, did you notice how people in the city... Oh, did you notice how in the city, people called adults like Monica teach those smaller folks things? Not smaller folks, uni. The words children. It's all adults reading books to children. It was a really peaceful scene somehow. Yeah, I remember in old training and lectures, they'd basically beat stuff into us. Nothing so relaxed as this. I imagine Monica would say... This is things. This is how things are meant to be. She'd have a point. I really can't imagine those children holding weapons, fighting for their lives. Before Monica became an adult, do you think Kanaka read to her like that too? I guess he might have. Strange, isn't it? I can't picture it at all. <laughs> yeah, bit outlandish, isn't it? On this. So, about this sheet music we found in the city. I gave it a play and the melody made me really happy for some reason. So strange, it's completely different to our officer melodies. Looks like only half the music is here though. I'd really like to know the rest. Someone in the city will have dropped it, so we should see if we can find who it belongs to. Yes, please. Okay, let's find somewhere with plenty of people and try asking around. <laughs> Shall we put our heads together on this? The city's full of things I've never heard of, and it's all this amazing tech and stuff. <laughs> but they seem to have. They seem to scavenge things like lightness tarts, like we do. It'll be a sight harder than just normal scavenging, too. Outwitting both Agnes and Kevs to get stuff they need? Not my idea of fun. They can't leave any trace behind either. That's why they have a specialized scavenging force. They're elite, but in a different way to Monica's corpse, which fight on the front line. I assume there can't be many of them, so the force can stay flexible and mobile. What, like a little secret platoon? Hey, could we just pay a visit to Gnome Wetlands ourselves? I would like to know more about these lost numbers. You're curious about scavengers? A little. Seems like a lot of hard work. I could lend them a hand. 
they're probably pretty short-handed over there, yeah? These uni made it sound like they're a little... a titchy little unit. Oh, so it's my fault, is it? Well, regardless, it'd be a good opportunity to get to know them better. To know what lands it is. I'm so excited with this game. I can't believe what's going on right now. This game's so good, everyone. Everyone got their strength back. Nope. All right. Now to appease Shadow and go to Lambda. It does seem like a hero quest after all, so it's very important that I get this done. Is there any enemies? Is it? What's wrong, Commander? Hmm. Oh, it's you guys. The Ferranus was heavily damaged during the battle, do you remember? As a result, some of our remote administrated autolevs aren't responding to transmitted instructions. I'm not 100% on the techno babble, but that doesn't sound good. Indeed. I've sent some of our tech guys over, so we'll know soon enough. Do you really need the machines? Are you thinking there might be another battle? It's nothing like that, I assure you. Colony Lambda is now focused on ether mining, and... What? What was that? We just received word of a tunnel collapse. What? I'll be there ASAP. Are the troops assembled? They're all in position. Then go on ahead. Sorry about this, after you took the trouble to come all the way here. Commander, please let us lend a hand. Only if you're sure. But your help will be welcome. Roger that. Let's hurry into the tunnels. Yikes. Missing Offseer.
All right, here we go. I'm going the wrong way. Wonder what those are. They're on us. Orders. Huh? You wanna fight us? Why I want to fight us? So random. That was sure I did, Sana. You look great. Well spoken, man. Oh, red dude, all right here. Red dude, ah. Hmm. Looks like some sort of intricate thing going on out there. We're at freaking level 50, and I feel like the game's only just now getting started. And yes, I told you, I was stuck following that girl around. And then I just got to explore the city. I didn't continue any more than I had to, all for your sake, Mr. Apex. Master of keeping me from progressing through the story. <clears throat> Are you home yet? You'll find a powerful distraction. Won't that mean you have will have had to go through the distraction? Ah! Won't that mean you will have had to go through the distraction as well? Delaying you from catching up to me as well? Is that really what you want? What you really, really want? How do I get up there? Where should I come from? So all that's going to do is put me down low, right? Mm-hmm. Faster, thus closer, huh? You do what you got to do, buddy. Big Ferranis. Really is a big one. Try that. Might be higher. Otherwise, I needed to take the elevator, I guess. Mm hmm. I 
wonder what the proper way around is. Is it the elevator? Why is this one so aggressive? This enemy keeps fighting me. So weird that it wants to fight me. Now you got everything in the mix. Concred. That's how you pull off a win. Yeah. See if we can keep this up. Black fog is scary, I know, I know. Got this little crevice. This should be a point of interest, but... Hmm. I wonder why we're not allowed to push that rock. I wonder what makes those things so aggressive. Do I have an item on that just makes him feel the need to try to kill me? First person Xenoblade Chronicles 3! Yeah, like, it's so aggressive when it shouldn't be. channel rip don't mind if I do man I need to find some by honest or not by honest but for honest hulks those guys will eat that up okay, I'm gonna like cap out on ether you, soon if you really want me to be distracted I can really be distracted if you that's what you're feeling shadow well we've been found because I need to go backwards and fight the enemies that drop. Um, what's it called? Drop all the materials I need in gym crafting. And that'll take a while. Because I've got to identify everything. And then I'm probably going to want to take note of it, like, you know on a notepad or something so I know what drops what and where it's from. <clears throat> so I 
guess I need to come in from wherever that is. Quite the walk. I'm surprised there's not a waypoint already closer. Just get on the right track. Bruh, I just told you that'll be my big distraction while you catch up. Why would you say that? Why would you say same honestly to like the biggest distraction there can be? <laughs> what is well, why are you like this? Uh Let's go here. Nice that. So it's pointing me in the right direction. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I guess I'm falling onto their Faranus now. Went better than I expected. Is there something up here? I feel like there ought to be something up here for us. Very nice. Will I die? Yes, I will. Holy cow. <laughs> Insane. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the heavy lifting, huh? Sheesh, buddy, sheesh. Getting closer and closer and closer. <laughs> Jump. Okay, I won't let me go into the map while I'm climbing. Is this a meme bird? That's surprising. Seems like that would be a boss bird. Unique. Whoa, check this place out. Bam, my gate. The tunnels are up ahead. Go ahead and guess that Tyon's going to be the inheritor of his class. I don't know if that's a little too obvious. You're already inside waiting for me? What? What are you on about? The tunnel walls should have been stabilized. What happened? Hey, look over there. It's collapsed. Ah, we got monsters. They must have been living in a place with elevated ether concentration, then found their way in here. We better get there quick. But there's no direct path there. We'll have to go around. You've got lepuses, don't you? Wanted to make short work of these things. But we need permission from each squad's leader to activate a levness. Oh, come the snap on. This is an emergency. You stay here on standby. There might be another clap, so we'll go on alone. But Commander! Execute a partial evacuation once the tunnel mouth is secured. Coordinate with the medic court and treat any wounded. Now, these are special orders for which I take full accountability. Inform the other troops. Yes, sir. Now, all of you. We'll be fine, Commander. You can count on us. Understood. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. 
Why are you waiting for me on this quest? First Am I understanding off, right? To find a way up. Isn't that like the opposite of what you want right now? Close, what? What is Kev's doing? Oh my goodness, it's always something goofy. They're actually on level. Got it. Seriously, was not ready for that. What the heck? Well. Uh... Y'all aren't gonna do the one art that makes the most sense to do right now. Maybe they will. Oh well. I tried to do it real quick, but they just were not interested in swapping over and doing that. This, you've been waiting for me to come here? Why, why don't you just, like... I don't understand you. You, you could just get caught up like you're dying to do instead of like waiting in the game oh you weren't actually waiting okay I was about to say like you were you were so many levels of confusing like you need to distract me so you can get caught up but you're also being completely distracted yourself like what That's fine. I can work with that. Here we go. Oh my. Yeah, like a Mio and I mean Senna and Lancia? Like a Mio go though. I mean you know, Mio is kinda wild. Uh, never a distraction to get a new hero. What are you hiding, little guy? I certainly can't disagree with that. Such lovely view from here. Also, many Agnes and Kev's uh, troops come here because stocking of resources is not possible from inside tunnels. Prophet of Zoka pile up in ginormous heat. <laughs> oh, what clever pun, Zoka. Uh, not pun in their money schemes. Oh no, I can't use that one yet.
I must cross. The girl with the gall. Now to make with the climbings. Come on. You missed the ladder once and then you struggle to ever climb it again. Continue on. You deserve this. I tried looking up what follow-up art buff was, but it's not in the um, tip section. I've got a follow-up. I've been trying to see if it's recharge rate. I don't think it's recharge rate. I have no idea, quite honestly. Its effect is hard to identify. It, it says art follow-up, so I feel like it's... um. Probably a modifier for canceling. Just like how, you know, the um, empowered combo gem is making your canceling stronger. But it's hard to say if I'm right about that. But that's my last guess until I can just confirm it for sure. And I was the MV. 
But yeah, yeah, I'm right there with you. It's a weird one. I think I'll eventually find it out because I realized I was being dumb about um, some of the master arts. Like it was such an obvious and simple answer that I was being dumb about. Because you remember me being upset because I couldn't use um, hidden thorn on the sword sword fighter class. It's because you can't mesh. Kev Kevy Kevesi arts with um Kevesi classes. You have to do the opposite. Yeah. Yeah no, I really do wish they had a slightly better description system. Which is why Anel is such a powerful asset because you know, him and his Discord and other people he knows and associates with, they go through the code. And like they look at how the AI kind of thinks around each other, and they look at the values for stuff so they know exactly what's going into what. So just his information that he has also is what makes him like the best player while we're just kind of sticking to what's in the game. But I do plan to get the gist of it at least. Fighting you, I guess. Hmm. That's awesome that he just has a healing field. That already makes him like one of the best healers. Can't wait to be done with him. I need him in my life. like that'll be worth to slide down. I hope. I think that point of interest is probably worth it. I know, what's that? The thing we're about to use. 
Ooh, and off we go. we're gonna die. That area looks evil. Oh, well, bye everyone. I'll miss you dearly. Not immediate death, eh? Um, like this? Ching. items but according to Suna it should be delicious food time Wait for a Something so valuable here. Using that device should allow us to proceed. Um like this True ending <laughs> what yeah. when I was saying oh everyone's dead I will miss you all dearly that sounds like it could be a true ending. I'm not even gonna argue that. Look out. Careful, everyone. You think I won't beat you up just because you're cute? Less Pipito light, what the heck? Don't mind if I do. Did that say solid socks? Yikes. We can't leave it like this. So many items. Ultra oral sensor. That's good. What are you doing here? I'm pretty sure that's going to be one of the best items in the game. Because that's the uh, item that helps you hit your targets during the day or nighttime. 
Oro Sensor, I think, is the nighttime variant. And that's always been strong in every Xenoblade so far. For the, oh, the next elevator, super bosses. Right Especially highly evasive ones that you need your dexterity for. Is this like a rare thing? Time to do the right thing, eh? I still don't know why this enemy is aggressive, it so should be. Double hit fire. It means there were no holes in my strategy. Topographical info update. Well, not coming. Oh well. Oh, 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 oh! Hi, everyone. Nice to have you all. All right. Dang! Look at them go. They are built. Can anyone hear me? We're here to help! Commander! We're safe! No casualties here! Looks like there weren't too many working this deep inside. I'm glad everyone's unharmed. I didn't think there'd be a cave in here, considering the geology and with this level of structural support. I suppose the cave wall was weak enough for the monsters lurking there to break through. When the excavation uncovered an area of concentrated deposits, the monsters that lived there must have sensed the chance. The ether find is good news, but for now, let's get everyone out. There might be more monsters. You better keep an eye out. Noted. We're close to the site of the cave-in. Let's pick up the pace. Yes, sir. Eh? Eh? I pushed the rock just now. Is that where I am? Okay. We did come through already. I gotcha. It's insane that the scaffolding held. Actually, I'm pretty sure that should be impossible, but I'm not going to complain about that detail. It's another thing to see it for yourself, eh? Hey, this one means business. They've been absorbing the ether. Stay on your guard. Ah, so that's actually a reason as to why they've been so aggressive. I messed up. I probably shouldn't have pulled them all at once when I wasn't even the tank. Somewhat cleaned Ooh. up. I guess riding a leftness meant they avoided any serious injuries. A little silver lining to a great big cloud. Glad to hear. Tyon? No, all of you. Thanks for your assistance. You saved us. Woohoo! On the contrary, Commander. 
We were just following your orders. Right. We could only react so fast thanks to your quick thinking. That's about as much as I can do. The people of Colony Lambda, and you as well, all knew what needed to be done. And due to that, the rescue was a success. I can't thank you enough. You've even managed to secure a nearby ether deposit. I'm a bit jealous. Yes. Actually, our troops reported a harvestable ether source recently. And with enough resources in the bank, perhaps the colony could have some peace of mind. I hear a fair few colonies are lacking ether. Everyone knows that we're nothing without it. Everyone in Lambda knows to be prepared to do anything in their power rather than lose it. By the way, how are your travels? Our... travels? Sometimes I'm envious of folk like you. Strong-willed and forging ahead. Oh, well, we're not that. Actually, I think being a commander is a pretty big deal in its own way, eh? Yeah. Smoldering Kamaravi and the famed Silvercoat certainly are. But I'm not that kind of lone pioneering type. I think most people feel the same. I know my own weakness best of anyone. The day we lost Nimue and Yu Taiyan, I abandoned all thought. The Consul sensed my weakness, knew I'd pass my responsibility to another, and took merciless advantage of it. Oh. That's one thing I learned from losing. Ironically, if I hadn't experienced that loss, I... I'd never have come to understand this feeling in me. Sorry, no one needs to hear all that. Ah, yes. I owe you all, don't I? Would you come to the commander's office later? I'll be waiting. Woohoo! Tons of ether. Let's harvest some ether. We might not even be able to take it all. Let's harvest some ether. Don't mind if I do. This cave's looking pretty well looked at. See if it's up high. So, I mean, it only makes sense that Tyon would take on his commander's class, but if they do want to pull a fast one on me. Who would that class go to, I wonder? Oh, did you see that? Something so valuable here. I don't know, I have a hard time believing it could go to anybody other than Tyon. I see, I see. This was a nice find. That actually makes a good bit of sense. That is there not fun after all. Makes tons of sense. Yes, here we go. Okay, let's get it open. Sure thing, Mimi. The flash fencers. 
Yeah, yeah. That can't be up high, can it? It is? That's a secret area if I've ever seen one. Are you feeling at ease now? Are you happy to see me distracted, friend? go. If I really want to be distracted, I could probably come in here and... Yep, we got some link points. Or soul points. Ate everything. Oh well. I'll just have to come back for it yet again still. About you. I decided this was just the path, didn't I? That'll be great. Did I get art canceling for you? I did, I did. So what should come next? That actually makes that skill decent now. Pauses the timer on all deep buffs inflicted on an enemy. Interesting.
Guess I should come in here. Really keep control. Check out this sick new skill. Dang. These skills are insane. Bounding in. Hmm. Heck yeah. of upgrading this. The skill didn't get seemingly better. Because you still overheat, you still draw the aggro, and they still have Okay, it says it revives them all with low HP. It used to say critically low. Still a punishing art, but it's fine to close out with, I guess. Pretty good. Pretty good. Three, three, two, eight, and four. Also 5% up. Keep it moving. Uh, how about here? So much to explore in this game, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. How can a game be this massive? It's just mind-boggling. Ooh, second cataract. Who needs showers when you can just swim under a waterfall? A container. What are you hiding, little guy? My favorite. Uh. On we swim. Ooh, could wrap up good old 
Izzard's quest any time, but here I am, just going places. Don't know why I'm like this. Let me check. It appears we can pass through here. That's a horrifying enemy if I've ever seen one. We can't leave it like this. But how horrifying is it? Dang that mist, are you kidding me? Oh, I hate when the counter art misses. It hurts so bad. Super arrow. That hit really hard. Some rage attack. Wow. This is fooling me. This game is horrifying when a level 32 can overtake you at level 50. I don't know what the super bosses are going to be like in this game. I know I'm playing on hard mode, but just, it's insane to me. I 
just kick. A hundred. Gotta really prepare myself for the rest of hard mode. There's so much stuff that's gonna annihilate me. It's kind of amazing, honestly. I do indeed wonder how I'm gonna conquer certain challenges. So much to see, huh? Oh, really? You wanna fight, eh? Go ahead then. It's got such a cute little face. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. May you sleep peacefully. Yes. Guys, get ready to fight. I don't feel like fighting every single one of these. I wonder what purpose is diving serves. That's really not good. jumped into the mouth of a worse enemy. Uh, that was a lot of exploration I did. All for naught. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. Well, maybe not. Never mind. These guys. <laughs> that is so rank. What happened? They said I wanted a nice meat dinner. Why the Spock would you ruin it by putting that in it? Meat, meat is bad for body. Bam Bam put healthful ingredient. What's the issue now? Oh, hey, it's you again. Listen to this. This one here is trying to kill me. Spiking my food with the worst thing in the world. Look at that Oliver game. Give me the strength. <laughs> she cannot handle these two. Duty of cooking is split into shift. And Bam Bam want make healthful food with good ingredient for strength to travel far. Is that so crime? But Doran only yell at poor Bam Bam. It tastes of yuck, so stop, he yell. Oh, no need to be so mean, Doran. Can you not sort this out? No, no, no. Let me explain. Bodily health is fine. Whatever, go for it. But surely putting up with disgusting food is actually harming the health of my soul. Even if he needs to put glare obligans in my dinner, he could at least make an effort to make it taste like real food. Bam bam not kitchen slave to grant extravagant dishes of Doran. There's nothing can be done. I bet Manana has some ideas, right? Ho 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 ho, of course. Manana has ideas. Manana can chance you could be making this ingredient sing. You, you do that? <laughs> hear that, Bam Bam? Meh meh meh. Bam Bam here. Please teach secrets. <laughs> Manana oblige. Before start, we need to find Nectar of Bubblesia. Is Bubblesia a flower? Correct. It will limit Amini's hallows. Okay, we can take care of providing those. Dorn, you two make the preparations for the cooking. Can do. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Loloka. Oh, joyful day. Attacks from castles stop entirely. Relentless barrage of violence was taking toll on beautiful scenery of Ionios. Making great eyesore. Any more of you get injured and look, I become very sad about it. So I've got items to find. They're really keeping up with their ether intake. Because I know those Levnesses aren't supposed to be, like, great for travel. Unless that's, like, actually just a mo mobility focus one. Goodness, their footsteps sounded like a rocket ship taking off. This was a nice find! Giant's limb? Are you kidding me? Whoa! Check this place out! Man, the locations are so picky in certain spots. Like, I clearly filled out the whole map, but still missed that tiny corner that had, like, the actual location in it. Be at rest.
something that's been very interesting with the storytelling of this game to me so far has been... Is this, like, a rare thing? The way that they're, like, putting some of their big plot points out there, but not the why. The same question that our main cast wants the answers to. They just oh, want everybody to sit oh, there and just seriously? say why. It's right there, but there's no way to it. Where do you see that at? I see it. Where is that? Down? Not standing close to the sledge for long. Mm. Where is this husk? Rip. another spot that I haven't touched. It's crazy this exploration. Huh. All right. Oh yeah, you've come here before. going on up there seems like the most interesting part of this area. <sighs> Come on. Finicky ladders. Kinda going crazy with this area music right now. I'm trying to figure out where exactly that was again. probably isn't gonna help. What is that? Is that the colony? So that's the colony. Let's just check it out. to the colony with her and they've got an appetite and they're uh, a little afraid of them. They're not quite like normal Nakban. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine though. The world's a big place full of weird and wonderful things. That should be enough data. Hmm. It's a little lonely at times but life Back of Beyond's actually refreshing change. Local produce are very scrummy. Cannot complain. We've made some new friends. Hello. It's just in dreams and drabs, but my friends are starting to come back. The faces of folks that make it back seem a little different, don't you think? Huh. 
Yes, you may be right. Toughened up somehow, I'd say. Oh, so that's how they're doing. It's almost harvest time. Everyone loves the harvest festival. But Spark does Carson. But Spark does Carson really make you work for it? Sometimes you can hear the sounds of battle from over the mountain path. I doubt it'll ever encroach as far as here, though. It pays to be cautious there, don't you think? There are many of us, so frontal assaults are a no-go. Or there aren't many of us, so frontal assaults are a no-go. We have our own ways of doing things. Have you seen rain? He's still not recovered from his injury, so it's a bit worrying if he's gone under. This sounds pretty serious. Looks like a bunch of our folks will be heading to the other colonies that you've liberated. It's like Juniper says, we should look forward to getting out there and seeing new things. Is that what you're going to do? Get out in the world? No. If I left, there'd be no one to take care of the wounded. Such a quaint little colony. I do like this one a lot. these quests. Are you going to help us? It's hard work, but what can you do? It's always... It's the way we've always done things. Here's what I've managed to scrape together. Don't give it to Roland. Whatever you do, you'll only eat it. Forging is such a hassle. My least favorite part is having to give away perfectly edible food. But that's enough wounding for me. Here's what I've managed together. Do with it as you will. I've been craving some downtime. We've got things to discuss. Quite a bit as well. Hey! So, can we talk? <sighs> Looks like our marks really don't even disappear after the flame clocks are smashed. Yeah, we're only feared from the tyranny of the flames. It's true. A mark once made cannot be erased. And once my tenth term's end, tenth term ends, I would be gone, after all. It's not hard doom and gloom, though, yeah? Being freed from the clocks, that already something, right? Things feel different somehow. I know what you mean. It feels less anxious, like I can breathe a little easier. Exactly. And ultimately, everyone has to choose their actions for themselves. Freedom from the flame fox expands one's options immeasurably. I think that's huge. Yeah, everyone's got to die sometime. At, this, at least this way they get to live the good life first. 
the good life. What do you understand by that? Huh? Well, I mean, like, eating good grub and stuff, yeah? I don't know what I expected asking you. Oi, you got a problem? <laughs> the good life, though. I could go for it, a bit of that. Yeah, me too. Everyone, a moment of your time? So these are Ryan Mountains. I, to be honest, I kind of expected them to be a little more mountainous. Yeah. Makes you wonder whether someone misnamed the place. Approximately half of the formation has been lost due to the annihilation events. Kev's Castle Annihilator made a dent too, adding insult to injury. Well, thanks for the reminder, mate. I don't really want to think too long about that snuff and doomsday device. Truthfully, neither do I. It makes you wonder, though. Do you think one day the entire world could just go up and smoke like that? Not in our lifetimes, I don't think, but... Maybe decades? Or even centuries after we're gone? It's probably unavoidable, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the deep future. Deep, deep future. I don't think my brain can take me that far. Well, we're still fine, but the lot that comes after, ages and ages after, will be kind of snuffed out. Huh? Almost definitely. Might think like that's nothing to do with us, but it isn't quite right. What we do does matter. I'm with you. Just. Can't look the other way, pretend we don't see the effects of our actions. Even if it makes you feel bad. Oh, you're capable of feeling bad. I should mock my calendar. Being vulnerable here, you arts. Get the fog out of here, the cheap shots. They are at each other's throats a ton. Everyone! A moment of your time? Say, Manana, I think we all agree that your cooking is delicious and filling, but isn't it a burden for you to always cook? Ah, uh, and don't get no wrong, it's great. It's just, if you've got four more mouths to feed than when you were in Agnes. No needing for concerning. Cooking is whole life of Manana. Food from colony canteens is fine and all, but when it comes to feeding friends, when I want to do myself, I can adjust menu based on preferences and dietary requirements. Will not get similar service in canteen, that for sure. <laughs> Manana's cooking really is really what let us face each day with a renewed vigor. Needless to say. <laughs> Or so, Manana Front, but actually wouldn't mind eating at Colony Canteens from time to time. It can be good to get ideas for recipes by sample what the world have to offer, and then rework, and friends have sample. And have friends sample. Well, that's fantastic, then. Food for our tongues, and some for Manana's lot. Two answers, one stone. That's exactly right. And had to look forward to never stop expanding the repertoire as long as live. Unica. Shall we put our heads together on this? So, Lambda's off here, Shijima. This has apparently gone missing. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? Agnes's officer is often working pairs, right? Yeah, I think most Agni and colonies make use of similar arrangements. Are both of them missing then? All we've heard is that the one named Sijima 
was headed into the tunnels. By now he might have come out at the Rebel table and in Fornis, in the Fornis region. Something might have happened to make him wander off like that. We should look for him. And we'd best hurry. The longer we wait, the more difficult the search is likely to be. Let's have a little huddle up. I hear Colony Lambda's having a difficult time now that they can't use the canteen. Yeah, we did kind of tear that up, please. But if there's anything we can do, we could cook something up for them. It's only going to help them in the short term. And what? Don't tell me you want to build them a whole new canteen. That's a surprisingly reasonable idea, Lance. Oh, well then, I'll just cobble one together, shall I? We couldn't do the labor ourselves, but then does a big colony. It can't hurt to flirt the idea. Imagine talking to the captain of a manufacturing unit. It would be a good place to start. Sounds like a plan. Let's get going. Yes, the sooner this gets resolved, the better. Let's keep things on a tight loop. So, I wanted to thank you all somehow. We didn't lend a hand just so you'd give us something in return. Too right. We don't expect any thanks. That may be so, but... Oh yeah, did the thing with the autolevs get sorted out? I only just got a report saying they don't know why they won't work. After seeing that cave-in, I want to investigate thoroughly. An autolev is vital for that investigation. If we can't bring them back here, they can't be of any use to us. Here it comes. I'm not planning on getting you involved for every little thing. I already can't thank you enough for your help with the cave-in. Excuse me, Commander. I have a report about the autonomous Levnesses. Any new developments? Yes, sir. It seems they're operational. I see. They wanted you to take a look and judge if they can be used or not, sir. Roger that. Well, I'm sorry for bringing you all out here. I have to go. I'd like to come along. What do you mean? Oh, good call. I need some closure on this. We won't get in the way. Is that okay? As you wish. Then follow me. On we go. Wow, I was just short. Uh, do you have a minute? Can't you see I'm busy? <sighs> Come on, keep it brief. We were wondering if we might be able to help fix up the canteen. Oh, yeah? Uh, that'd be a big help. We're eager to get it back up and running, too. Is there a reason you haven't done it yet? 
to put it in a request, but there's so much else going on, I haven't got approval yet. You need approval to work? Yeah, we can't just go around building things willy-nilly. Oh, great. We got a lot of a bit of red tape. If we can get you approval, would you be able to start work? If you can manage it, that would be fantastic. And we'll arrange it. Who's in charge of approvals? Head of Engineering Corps and the Chief of Logistics are the people you'll want to talk to. And we'll need some helping hands too. The Chief of Engineering is pretty forgetful. Probably still hasn't filed my request. I bet Whitby's climbing the walls with how long it's all taking. <clears throat> Whitby's Chief of Logistics. You could talk to the Head of Supply Corps as well. She's always rushed off her feet. I reckon she could use a hand. That's a lot of people to see. The request probably been held up somewhere in the pipeline. Sorry for the trouble. Straight ahead, yeah. Is it? Is that it? It's a pretty weird spot for a. Uh... Oh, it is up. Okay, so how do I get up? Oh, no. They see. The auto loves are stationed in the cave at the Pier Bluffs. Gotcha. We don't exactly have what I'd call an open schedule. Sorry, I know this is selfish. Nah, mate, I don't blame you. I may owe Commander Izzard a great debt, but he's also someone I just want to help, even if I didn't owe him. I think every soldier in Lambda probably feels the same. It sounds nice, doesn't it? Feeling attachment to your colony, to your commander. Yeah, definitely. What happened? Hey, is everything okay? Uh, Commander, the Levnesses, they started moving all of a sudden. What? And then they just came for us. But any autonomous unit should have safeguards to stop it attacking us. <laughs> that came from right up ahead. Ha, huh. lucky thing we tagged along, eh? Please stay back, Commander. We can take it. What are you saying, man? I'm fighting. It'd be a lousy example for the troops if I just stood around and stared. Then let's go. Hmm? Goodness. What's that? Cave. Great. Wonder what it's like inside.
We're doing damage, all right. Put a dent in it. Oi, the spark you doing? Concentrate on their power sources. Where are they? Finish it up now. Tie on. Right. Under is it? It's over. Feels like all I do is ask you to clean up our messes. Thanks again. If there's anything I can do. But why did they go berserk? It might have been set so they couldn't tell between friend and foe once restarted. You think so? So you're saying that forcing them to restart overwrote the previous instructions? Oh, man. I'll have engineering give me the details. We need them in running order, but they can be dangerous tools, so care is paramount. Regardless, let me know if there's any way I can thank you. We told you before, we didn't do this for any reward. You won't fly. I can't rest easy knowing I'm this deep in someone else's debt. If you're going to insist... Do we need anything, guys? Uh, let me think. All right, I've got something. Whatever it is, just say the word. We've put you out of your way. I want you to fight by our side once more. Say that again. I want you to see for yourself that the path I'm walking is the right one, Commander. Tyon, 
Has this been bothering you? I understand. My position as commander means I probably won't be able to accompany you at all times. But I pledge myself in Colony Lambda to you, Tyon. No, to all of you. Call me anytime you need me. I'll come running no matter what. Thank you very much, Commander. I better brush up on my skills to keep up with you all. Colony Lambda will have to keep up with its current developments, too. We can help you with stuff like that, mate. Now look here, I can't ask that of you. Look, we're friends now. Nothing wrong with asking your friends for help. <laughs> huh. <laughs> we're friends, you say. You're incredibly trusting, you know that. What's that supposed to mean? We're just helping. I don't mean anything bad by it. If I need you, I'll ask for you. Please, call us anytime you need. I'm a lucky man to have friends like you, Tyon. <laughs> Time for Tyon to get his class. I will endeavor to assist you. Strategist. A healer. Possesses arts that heal allies and weaken enemies. A highly versatile class with any with many aces up their sleeve. Great guys, keep this up. Very nice. Actually got some offsing to do in here. Oh my. That turned into quite the view. Mm -hmm. May you sleep peacefully. Feeling tired, but not feeling tired at the same time. So, we'll just kind of be keeping an eye on when we feel like a good point to wrap up, please. Which is anything, pretty much at the moment. This is just that mushroom cave. Has Mew been an inheritor for any of the classes yet? Tyon's been going crazy lately. He got out of Andrea's and he got wizards. It's on you. Are you headed for Kev's castle? If so, you'll want to send the Great Falls and then cut through Moscow Wildwoods. We made some new friends. Hey, what's up? We're looking to gather approvals for Sith for the canteen restoration. Oh, thanks for that. Not being able to use the canteen's piling on work for the supply cord. 
We have no food shortage, so anything perishable has to go. Working a canteen again would be like a dream. So we should work on getting those approvals in. Absolutely. I wonder if the request got held up somewhere. In any case, thanks for looking into it. Well, <laughs> we are the ones who trashed it in the first place. And if you tried asking around the engineering and logistics scripts, the canteen's request would probably be with that. I'm gonna pay them a, a call if you have an order. managed to harness the strength of all its soldiers and somehow got the piranhas back on its feet. Still doesn't look like you can go inside though. Seems getting big jobs done without help from the nation's top brass would be a pain in half. We made some new friends. Hey, have you got an unapproved request talking about? Oh what now? What a request would that be? a request from the manufacturing corps to start work on the canteen. Do you remember seeing it? I just say it, that does ring a bell. We come to get the approval from there. Sure, I don't have any problem with it. I'd love the canteen to be back up and running as soon as possible. But my people are a little preoccupied with something at the moment, so we may have to be patient. What exactly is more important than having a proper canteen? I wish I knew, but that request came in first and it's all I've been discussed. Anyway, you got my approval. I'll send someone over on the double. <laughs> Thanks, that's great. Have you been to the Chief of Logistics? You should if you haven't. When you get clearance from everyone, go report back to Sir. What's up with all of you? We came to get your approval for the new canteen. Oh yeah? Don't bring all that to my door. What? I gave it my stamp of approval soon as it crossed my desk, sunshine. But it looks like it got tangled up in red tape somewhere. You can't go without storage for munitions or f food forever. Ah. So that's what happened. No idea why you're the ones chasing this up, but seeing as you are, I'm gonna need you to be quick about it. Say, what kind of person would you say is it is? Ah, uh -huh, you wanna know about the commander, do you? Uh, our commander is one of the most exceptional healers in Agnes. Because our attacks are nothing to be sniffed at either. When his team need no more attention, he'll switch to offense and pull everyone out of dire straits with his talent art. It's not often we get to fight by his side given his role as a leader, but when he does step in, it's a real sight to behold. We made some new friends. So you guys are working with us on mining ether, is that right? I wouldn't necessarily say that, it was a minor contribution at best. Well, whatever, if you had one to hand we'd have been in, cause, eh, we'd have had considerable setbacks for sure. I expect the ether mine's going to be a key asset for Colony Lambda too. So yeah, thanks so much for all that. Commander Izzard's been starting to spend a fair bit of time away from the colony land, are ya? <sighs> Worried the colony won't hold up? No, nothing like that. It's our job to support the commander here, after all. It's wonderful he's able to carry out his own duties on top of all the courtesy calls. 
You gotta try and be more considerate. You don't wanna wear him out any more than he already is. You got it done? Fabulous. What happens now? I give it a stamp, and that's it. Done. Stamps in the commander's office. Would you come with me? Why did he say Sorry, it's in the commander's office? The commander's office? What? Just say it's your office, dude. We can do the final approval in the commander's office. Dude, I'm, I'm walking, okay? I just questioned why you called it the commander's office when it's yours. <laughs> uh, sorry you had to get involved in all this. Now that the request's come through, we can start work on the canteen quickly. You don't make it easy, do you? All these hoops you have to jump through to get stuff done. Uh, a fair point, but it's all in the name of betterment. I believe that our greatest asset lies in our desire to strive for more. Now, shall we get back to Sif? No doubt he's waiting on temp tempter hooks. Let's go. <laughs> Dang, got it. I do that every time. I can hardly see it. I actually could have gone a different way. Could have popped out from that side of the water and then went up this way. Uh, great. We'll set to work on the construction first thing. Thanks to you guys. I or, thank you guys, I don't normally need to get this many approvals. Everything's been moving at a blunt space. If this system ain't working, kick it. Make a better one. What she said. Well, that might be fine for a small group like you, but you can't let everyone do as they want in a colony this big. As long as you set down good rules, you can avoid a lot of trouble. With the approval system, you always know exactly what you should be doing and when. Makes a lot of sense. I can see how sharing info between teams would cut down on problems. Right? We're all working like an well-oiled Piranus. It's given us some real results. Requests and approvals are pretty important. They are part and parcel of Colony Lambda's work ethic. When we've got the uh, when we've got the work team together and repaired the canteen, you'll have to come back and see ya. Totally. We're not missing out on that. We did it. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Did it. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? XP boost. Thanks for the food. A nourishing pause. Manana learned it. Hey, Manana, this one's for you. Where to from here? Oh, so that's how they're doing. What say you, wonderful viewers in chat? Think it's a good spot to wrap up? Take it on quests from here. And wrapped up a couple as well. I think we could hold off here for the night. Shorter stream than I've been doing, but... That's in comparison to, you know, me going crazy and playing for like 9 to 12 hours at a time. So, not bad. 
We beat that one boss today. He was mean. We moved right on to another boss. Oh, bro, there were a lot of bosses. But we made some progress. Oh my goodness, we saw such an adorable cutscene. feeling quite satisfied I think and hey we can always get right back into it if we realize we need more Xenoblade we have to keep track of our progress up these side quests tomorrow. Uh huh. I am so happy, as always, to have played tonight, as well as hanging out with y'all. But for now, it will come to an end. But just as soon as tomorrow, I'm sure we'll be right back in here. So, every night. I look forward to it. Hope you all have wonderful days and nights until the next one. But bye-bye for now. <laughs>